Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this pop-up error that is Windows script host. And the error is cannot find script file C colon slash program data slash edges slash bin slash v2 slash lau dot vbs. So if you're receiving this pop-up on your computer every time, whenever you restart your computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now to fix this pop-up, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website and download auto runs for Windows. So click on download auto runs. And once the download is complete, open this zip file. So go to the download location. And then make a right click on auto runs zip file. And then click on extract all. Now click on extract. Now, once the extract is done, you can run auto runs, open this or auto runs 64. My computer is 64 bit. So make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening this as an administrator. Then click on yes to allow. Now, in the center on the top here, you can see the option which says quick filter. So in the filter, Type in lau dot vbs. Copy this, or you can write it in the quick filter box, and then hit the enter key. So if you find the entry which ends with lau dot vbs, in my case it's not there. I already got rid of it. So if you find it, make a right click and delete it. Now if you don't find any entry related to any entry which has lau.vbs in that case, type in w script in the quick filter box and then hit the enter key. Now, here you can see, now you don't have to delete it straight away. Click on this highlighted one and then on the bottom, see the complete command line and it should be, it ends with, if the entry ends with lau dot vbs. So in my case, it's task dot vbs. So I already got rid of that particular entry. So it's not there. In your case, if the command line ends with, that is lau dot vbs. If it ends with that, in that case, you can make a right click and then click on delete so simply make a right click and then click on delete but before you delete it click on that entry and see the complete command line and it should end with lau dot vbs in my case it's task dot vbs so if it ends with this just make a right click and then click on delete and once you delete it now restart your computer now this time when you restart your computer you should not receive this pop-up anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.